Hi everyone, welcome to the Laser Channel where we learn, create, and share. My name is Greg and in today's video I am going to be making this project candle holder. Some days I want to make a project using my laser machine, but that doesn't mean I want to design a project. And that's exactly the scenario that I have today. I want to do some work with the laser, but I don't want to spend time, too much time within the software. So I am going to use one of the projects that I have access to using the Make It software that is included free with the Vision Laser Machine by WeCreate. The files that I'm going to be showing you I have access to them all the time. However, if I don't have a subscription, these files are about 99 cents, so they don't cost a whole lot. However, my machine is new and a new machine does include a six month subscription, meaning that I have full access to all the project files. We're gonna be taking a look in just a minute. I'm on the landing screen of the Make It software and when I scroll down, we're going to see that this video is being recorded around Easter time. So there's going to be a lot of Easter themed projects that are basically at the top of the page. However, I want to make a candle holder. So I'm going to do a simple search for that. And now this pops up all the different candle holders I have access to. And I'm going to click on this and we're going to get a description of what this project looks like. It's going to tell me that the material suggested is going to be three millimeter basswood. I'm going to be using the two sheets of basswood that are included with the laser machine. I also have access to the manual, which is going to be the assembly directions on putting all the pieces and parts of this project together. I can click on that and I'll get a close up view of that diagram and it shows all the parts labeled or actually numbered. And when I scroll all the way down to the bottom here, we're going to see that they have a number on all of these pieces and parts. That looks good. I'll click on make it and it's going to load the project file into the software. Because this project does use two sheets of plywood, it's going to break that up into two canvases. Right now we're taking a look at canvas number two. When I click on canvas number one, this is going to be the bulk of all the pieces and parts. When I click off to the side, we're going to see that it defaults the material to three millimeter wood or specifically the bass wood, which is exactly the material that I'm using for today's project. Here's my two sheets of that three millimeter bass wood. This second sheet I already created some projects on, but I think I've got enough room left over that I'll be able to use this for that canvas number two page. I'll load in the first sheet of plywood. Once my plywood material is loaded into the machine, there's only two really simple steps I need to do, and they're easily found within the Make It software. The first one is I'm going to hit the refresh button so that the built-in camera that's already calibrated snaps a picture of that plywood. This way I can make sure that all of my project material fits within the wood. Here we see that it's off just a little bit so I need to make a slight adjustment to the position of my work material. And this looks good and I have a safe amount of material all the way around my project. And if I wanted to adjust something, this would be the perfect time to do it. The second thing that I need to do, and again, this is easy as just clicking a button, is setting the focus of the laser machine. The focusing mechanism on the Vision laser machine is a non-contact and I found it to be very accurate and very, very repeatable. I'd like to take a moment and thank today's video sponsor, We Create for supplying the Vision Laser Machine. The Vision Laser Machine includes a powerful 20 watt laser module and an included automatically controlled air assist pump. My Vision Machine came bundled with a really nice fume extractor. This fume extractor is a three stage filter system and it does an awesome job of keeping the air nice, fresh and clean within the recording studio. One of my favorite features about the fume extractor is the included remote. Not only does it turn the power on and off, but I also have full control over the speed. 
I'm going to have the fume extractor placed on the floor behind the laser machine, and that's perfect for the remote that I can simply point it at that fume extractor and turn it on without having to walk all the way around the table and turn it on and off manually. Everything's all glued up and I use some spray polyurethane and that really brings out the wood grain. But just check out all of the amazing detail on this project. And as we saw when I assembled everything, I didn't have to sand or file any parts down to fit. The project file, everything worked perfectly. This is exactly the project that I was looking for for kind of a dreary day. I wanted to build a project, but not necessarily spend a lot of time in the computer designing a project. I'm going to top off my candle holder with a nice LED candle. And the door swings nicely and I can place the candle inside. A quick recap from today's video. I wanted to build a project, not design it. So I turned to the Make It software where I was able to pick out a project. I clicked on that project, it automatically imported into the software. From there, I hit the autofocus button. The machine took care of the rest from there. I just verified that the project material I had matched the settings, the preset settings within Make It Software, and then I hit start. It really is that simple. And this is why I like the We Create machine. I spend more time with my project and less time designing things in the computer and getting things set up on the machine. Now that's not to say that I can't design a project out within the software, but for today, I chose just to take a project plan and just run it through the laser machine. I'd love to see your projects. Post a picture of it on the Laser Channel Facebook page. I'll have a link to that in the video description. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider giving it a like, subscribe to the channel, or ring that notification bell. That's a great way to support this channel. It's also a great way to connect content like this with like-minded people just like yourself. Until next time, learn, create, and share.